I love him. I love him and he loves me. And when he marries me, we will fly away from here forever, husband and wife. But I will not marry him in rags. I will look beautiful for him. I know where they keep it. Up there. Locked away. In the box. Okay, ready? Hi, it's Hi. us. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Vacation is happening. And uh, it's not how I imagined it was going to happen, but here we are. It's beautiful, beautiful day. Are we having a great time? We're having an amazing time. We're having an amazing time. We are just about to cross the bridge into Maine. We stopped at the Overlook. It is absolutely gorgeous. And um, we miss you. So call us or we'll call you from the mountain house. Uh, that's it. So, uh, you ready to sing? Yeah. Okay. You start. I start. I love the... You have to sing with me. Oh, okay. Ready? I love the billboards, I always will, because the billboards give me such a thrill. When I was a little child, a certain billboard drove me wild. Ha! Huh. Okay. See ya. Bye. Okay, can we unpause? Unpause, get in the back seat, please. I said the key would be under the mat. It's not there. I really have to pee.
Hi, this is uh, Don Baddick at, hello? hello, this is Don Baddick at Mountain House 2, uh, there was supposed to be the key under the mat, but I don't know, maybe it fell, or, hello? Stand back. I'll put it back. Cool. Find it? Somebody still lives here. Not a bunk bed. I'm sorry. I didn't promise bunk beds. Okay. So, the bad guys have one weakness, and you know what that weakness is? Cats. Okay. I'm releasing the cats in the school. Okay. All of them. What do I do? You are going to wait outside, and when the bad guys run out scared, you tie them up. Okay, pause game. Do we need uh, apples? Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay. Who am I again? Batman. Batman. Right, got it. Uh, okay, uh, I've got my, wait, uh, unpause. Unpause. I've got my bat rope. Go ahead, Catwoman. Okay, I've released all the cats in the school. The bad guys are headed in your direction. Good. Carrots? Yeah, carrots. Okay, don't be frightened, but there was an explosion at the hospital. Isn't that incredible? Look what she, look, Kelly, will you say? Hi. Kelly, say hi. Okay, um, look what she did. Now, she told me that this is a third degree burn and the way you can tell is because of the charring. Look at the blister. Isn't that incredible? Okay, um, anyway, I've got a big day today. Oh, I love the video you guys sent. Thank you so much. I showed it to everybody. Everybody loved it. Um, Jared especially loved it. You, you are really gonna like him, Don. Uh, and I hope, I hope you don't mind, but I told him what happened, you know, with, um, you know, and he, he agreed that it is totally effed up. And, oh, oh, I gotta go. Um, okay, so uh, uh, have fun, go on hikes, but not on the precipice trail because you know people can fall, and you don't want to end up here. All right, um, all right, I will. Uh, I'll report back. Doctor out. Bye.
Why would she talk to me? I just want to ask about my severance. Look, I'm totally blindsided here. All right, I'm going on vacation and suddenly this happens? Right. Well, maybe it would be better coming from you. Uh, hey, call me back. If I don't pick up, it's because the service is really spotty up here, okay? Okay, you there? Hello? The child's upstairs. Oh, thanks. Yeah, she loves to explore. Um, hey, do you have any books? No. 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 That's not for sale. Oh, that. It's funny that you picked that. That is from a very special wedding dress, my dear. And you know what they say about a wedding dress? You don't pick it? It picks you. Hey! Out! She wants the thing. Shut it! You all done the store? You okay? What'd you get there? That's cool. Is that a curtain? Use your own money? I get a buck. getting all my messages. Uh, anyway, good news and uh, bad news. Um, good news is more work. Bad news is they want me all next week. I know, we'll talk about details, um, but I just, I wanted to prepare you. Um, hey, could you send me a picture? I really want a picture, um, but, but not on a cliff or anything, okay? Um, all right, uh, I love you guys. Call me when you can and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Get the 
Iris, did, did you bring the sunscreen? Does she need a little? Yeah, I left mine at home. She's so pale. I know. We've got tons. <laughs> Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Thanks. Iris, here, will you put this on, please? June 21st, 1947. I like his five o'clock shadow. It's adorable. When we're married, he'll grow a mustache and I will tease him mercilessly about it. June 23rd, 1947. I'm good with secrets. I'll never say a word. They'll never, never know. They could burn my feet. I'll never say a thing. Thing. Okay, name me three of the Beach Boys. Brian, Janice, Matt? No. Mike. Not my favorite Beach Boy, but yes. Carl. Yes, Carl. Okay, name me three members of your blood. Blood? Three members of my family? Mm-hmm. Uncle Lee, uh, Aunt Susan, your grandmother, my mother. Okay, okay. I'm trying, Jay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to have a good time, but, 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 I'm, but I'm trapped up here. Look, most of the day, I can't get a signal. There's no internet. I can't even spend like 20 minutes at a stretch writing a letter to Katie because I got Iris. I gotta make dinner, you know. But I need to write a letter, not an apology. So I'm just putting them all in order now. Dot will get married when she's 21. Tallulah will get married when she's 28. Alex will get married when she's 28 and a half after Tallulah. I'll get married at 23, which is actually the perfect age. And oh my god, Dot's totally got a head start because she's dating Henry, okay. which I was like, yes. Okay. Can we, um, sweetie, we need to talk about how the next couple of days are going to go, okay? We are on vacation. Mom's not here the rest of this week. She might not be here into next week. But I have to get some work done. So this is, this is what I think we should do. I think we should take two hours a day where I do my work and you can do anything you want. Anything I want? I think you're responsible enough to go off on your own. I think you can do anything you want, starting right now. What about the game? Well, I can't play the game when I'm working, so, I mean, look, you're, you're getting to be a big girl now, so you can, you can do stuff on your own. Okay. Can I play the game? I guess I'm concerned, no, I guess I'm concerned because I'm up here till the end of the month. All right, so what is the word on me while I'm gone? Okay, maybe I can't wait till I get back. <sighs> Look, here's my thing. I lost my temper, all right? I was standing up for myself. Stop right, it, Mr. You're fine. It was one incident, what, and suddenly, what, that's who I am now?
Here's to you, my spooky friend. July 28, 1947. I cut my foot on the trail today on the way to our place, but it was my fault. August 1st, 1947. I am old enough to drive. I am old enough to join the DAR. I am older than Amelia Earhart when she flew in her first plane. Yet I am not old enough for Graham or Mama or George, or for any of them to believe in me and let me love who I want to love. I just wanted you to hear this message that we got. Let me just get it to play. Ten old messages. Uh, can you pick up? It's not... You can't come. I'm, not, I'm doing this. I don't care what the site says. There's still more stuff. Uh, I can't even get at it. Did she even tell you? Jesus. Call this number. You have a child. So, I mean, that that's weird, right? <laughs> the, yeah, the strange thing is it's on our landline. I mean, I, I hate our landline. Anyway, um, is it about the house? Just call me. Call me when you can. All right, love you. Bye. Come on, come on, Sarah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Iris! Iris, are you up there? Iris! Oh, God. I can't do this. I can't do this by myself. Daddy? 
Daddy? Oh my God. Good, 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 good. Did you hear me? Where were you? I was in the bathroom. Did you lock that door? I was in the bathroom. What happened to your foot? Are you okay? It's just on my toe. Okay. We're okay. Let's, let's go take care of that. I got some cream. I want some cream. Were you making those sounds? What was that banging? Did you, did you hear that? I love that book. You know, here at the shop, we have a lot of things that are in that book. Do you believe me? Mm -hmm. I brought you something I think you'll like. It'll go perfectly with that veil you took home. It's actually two things. Gloves. A little too big for you now, but soon, right? <laughs> yeah. Then you'll have shoes and the purse and the gloves and the veil. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something flip. This is my bouquet, stick bouquet. Honey, I can't talk about the sticks anymore. I'm sorry. This is kind of the medieval knife one, definitely my favorite. This one is a very pretty knobby one. This is the one that is like driftwood. Iris, wood, Iris, really Iris, the sticks are kind of driving me crazy. What? Here she is. Put, These put two look gorgeous together. They're like. Hi. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> This. It's my rental. Hey, Hi, I need a hug. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. Guys, it sounds like you're having so much fun. Oh, look, we got lunch already. Oh, you got your dad. Oh, well, it, it was actually easy. I just ran lines all the way up. I listened to my audiobook. My audiobook oh, is getting really good. I bet. I bet. So, do you love the house? I love the house. There's a couple of critters. Oh, it's great. Listen, I know you just got here, but I have like two or three calls that have backed up. Oh, okay. Now? Oh, soon. Yeah. Sure, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, in, in a few minutes, okay? I just need like an hour, like, like one oh, hour. Of course, I'm here. Do you need to go now? No, no, come on. Okay. Let's go. Hey, hey, I need the tour. Show me the house. Let's I want go. to see your room. So how is it? How is this set? Oh my God, they're just, they're amazing. Really? They're so, so cool. Oh, wow, funky. So, uh, is this the place from the pictures? I mean, were you able to find the pictures that they sent? Uh, I looked, but I can't find them. Really? I mean, yeah, I agree. It feels a little different, but I like it. But it is the place, right? I mean, it's, just, it's called the mountain house, but there's no mountain. Isn't that weird? And also, when you, when you call the... Realty place? There, is there really no answer? September 2nd, 1947. Every new day with Duncan is spent on a sweet incline. Always up, always higher. I will put on the dress for him. I will meet him at our place. My feet will be parted from the ground and I will fly up and out away from here with him. 
forever. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the union of two kindred spirits, Iris. No, Maddie. Maddie and... No, d longer, do it for real. Okay. <clears throat> These two souls shall be joined together today in holy matrimony because they truly belong together. There has never been anyone who understands this man like this girl does, and she's never had a kayaking partner as great as this man, and she never will. They truly are a couple for the ages. So, what God has put together, let no man put asunder. What was that? Good. Okay. Hey, did we leave the fire open all night? I don't think so. Well, it's Dad, open now. Going. Did you open it this morning? Uh, no. Dad, keep going. Okay, just... It's just, it's not very deep. Those sparks really fly right on Dad, the carpet. Keep going. Okay, sorry. Okay, uh, we're almost done. Oh, sorry, are you playing? We're almost done. Okay. Uh, fully grown adult male who should know better, do you take... Dad. Do you take Mabel... Maddie. ...to be your lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold, etc., etc.? Are you getting married? That's an old game. Say you do. Okay, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, etc., oh, etc.? Hey, et can I be the caterer? I brought bagels from New York. No, Heather, you can't. Can you go inside, please? Oh, can I just sit out here? No, you can't. Go inside. You're not part of the wedding. I just want to sit out here. I, I mean, I'll face this way. I just... No, Can go I just inside. sit here and eat my bagel? Go inside. We're almost Honey, done. that's not nice. We're almost done. Go inside. But this is our porch, and anybody can eat breakfast out here. Heather? Okay, let me just finish up the game. She just wants to finish this up with me. Let us just finish. I made coffee, and then we'll go in and plan the day. Just two minutes. Just two more minutes, okay? Why is there no screen door on this side? Do you take me? Uh, do I take you? Well, you have to do your part. I do. I, you do? If you do, I do, okay? Um, by the power vested in me, in this spider-infested cabin in the wood, I now pronounce you bride and groom. Dad, we're married now more than you and Mom. <laughs> no, really, Dad. We are. Could you, um, I, do, I don't like the way she flops over like that when she sleeps. She's, right. She's okay. We gotta get on the same page about that game. It's not a big deal. It's the same game you've been playing for years. And you feel left out. I don't want that. She can leave me out. She's punishing me for being away. But I just feel like these games, it's an opportunity, you know, for you to, it's an opportunity to discuss issues. 
I, yeah, I mean, she's gonna... She's gonna start looking at boys soon. She's already looking at boys. It's just a game. Not to her. Little girls have been marrying their daddies for centuries. So you like the house? I love it. Yeah, I love it. You? It's rustic. It's, it is, it's what you rented. It is as advertised. I just think, don't you think it's weird we don't have keys? People around here, they don't care about keys and things like that. We, uh, what kind of critters have you seen? Nothing, really. Oh, you know what I wish? Them? I wish we could move that trunk, that steamer, whatever it is. I, <laughs> I just don't want her playing in it. That big trunk, do you know? Do you know what that reminds me of? Hmm. It reminds me of the bride in the box. What's the bride in the box? Oh, it's a, it's a true story. It, it happened around here, like 19... Oh, uh, wait, wait. Is this a ghost story? Because I really will get scared. No, no, no. This is a real thing. My grandfather told me this. It was in the, in the papers. It was the Davis family. No, the Dodge family. The Dodge family. Yeah, there was this girl, and she wanted to get married to a guy that nobody approved of. She was from this family, the, the Dodge family, and she fell in love. And... You know, when she decided to marry this guy, she went to the grandmother to ask her permission, right? So she says, Grandma, can I, can I, I want to marry this boy. Can I please wear the wedding dress that you and Mom wore? That dress with the shoes and the train and the veil. I know where you keep them. You keep them in that old trunk up in the attic. Can I please, can I please? And the grandmother said no. She no. said no, of course she said no. I don't want you marrying this no good boy, you're too young, he's gonna ruin your life, so. <sighs> so the girl's devastated, right? But nothing's gonna stop her, she's gonna get that dress, she's gonna marry this boy. A few days go by and, and nobody's heard from her, but they're, you know, they don't think anything of it. But they do start to hear like this, this strange knocking sound in the house, they started to get concerned, so they started to look for her. They didn't know where she could be. And this sound kept, you know, they kept hearing this in the house. So when they finally found her up in the attic, there was the old trunk. And they opened the box, and oh my God. She had been clawing on the roof of the trunk for, for days. It was just, her fingernails were gone. Her fingers were nubs. Stop, she had this stop. horrible look on her face. Oh my uh. God. And, and people around here, they say you can see her, but not just in, in one place. They see her in churches and in hospitals, and she's always wearing that wedding dress, bride in the box. Did the girl ghost have blood? Oh, are you awake? On our sleeves. Oh. How, how long have you been up? We thought you were asleep. How, how much of that did you hear? When they saw her on the streets as a ghost. It's just a story. It's just pretend. Was her dress all bloody? Wow. That, <laughs> that startled me. <laughs> uh, let's go. No, because I don't want to. Are you ready? Oh, hey, looks like it's gonna be a great day for weather. So uh, go tell your mother that kayaking is the most important thing in your life right now. And that's what you want to do, okay? I'm, I'm trying. Well, do this, then draw. Because. Heather? One sec. Do you have shorts on under that dress? Mm-hmm. You seem to have brought a lot of dresses. They're pretty. 
That makes no sense. Where's Dad? He wants me to tell you that kayaking is the most important thing in my life. Oh, kayaking today. We made plans with Steph and Leo. Don't you want to see them for lunch? They have a pool. You love pools. Go, go get your suit on. Well, I want to go. Will you please tell Dad that we really want to go and you really want to swim in their pool? Please. I can't finish it now. Stop. Why? We get five minutes alone as a family and she wants to go see other people? No. I love pools. I can bring my swimsuit. Look. Don't you want to spend time, just us, just with me and your mother as a family? Yes. Well, go tell her that. Come on, give me some space, all right? Go, go tell your mother. How did you feel? How did you feel? Somebody said something like that. Huh? It doesn't feel so good, would it? I know a ghost story. You do? I love ghost stories. Everybody loves a ghost story until it happens to them. A girl wants to get married, and she got trapped in a box, and now people see her with bloody sleeves in churches. I know a story like that, but I heard it a little differently. A girl was going to get married, but she wanted to do it right. So she thought, I have to wear that wedding dress that's up in the attic, the one that's in the box. She could prop open the lid with a stick, and in the box, in the steamer, was the wedding dress. And she went to the bottom of the box, but all of a sudden, the lid slammed shut, and she was trapped in the box. And she was pounding, hoping that somebody would hear her pounding. And she pounded louder and louder and louder and louder until she ran out of breath. And she couldn't pound anymore. Every piece of that wedding outfit, the gloves, the veil, the dress, she's in them all. She's not haunting where she lived. She's haunting 
what she wore. Heather? Get the hell out of there. Yeah, I know, but the girls are sleeping. Well, I was freaking you out. You gotta ask yourself, is it your house or the raccoon's house at this point? I don't even know if it is a raccoon, dude. What else is it gonna be? No, Heather's already... She wanted to rent a totally different house. Rabbit raccoon. If I tell her there's a possum under her bed, she's gonna flip. Oh, what? Wake her up. It's not that easy, man. I found this place. I spent all this money to come up here, and then I got fired. Is, is, is Heather being supportive about that? She knows I got fired. She just doesn't know I got fired because I got angry. My God. Sorry. I, I don't mean to laugh, but you, you keep secrets for no reason. Tell her. Wake her up and tell her, you idiot. I got more urgent shit, Jay. I got a possum in my rental house, and I have to get it out tonight. You gonna fight it? <laughs> What's the last time you fought a possum? <laughs> Please let me know what happens, man. Yeah, you're hilarious. What could go I'll, wrong? Yeah, I'll call you later. <laughs> oh, fuck.
Hey, guys. I need to talk to you about something for a second. Um, Iris, come sit. Come here, buddy. So, I just got a call from the show, and they want to add me to the next episode. I know it sounds insane, how, but... How soon? Uh, two days for the table read, and then we shoot. Um, they want to know if I can be back on Wednesday. Oh, man. Do it. I told them I would have to see if it was possible. You just got here. I, t I told them that, but I, I could come back. You should do it. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's just eat. Enjoy what little vacation we have left. I have to call them back now. I think you should do whatever you would like better. This could be good. Good for the family. It's good money. We need the money, and... It's just, you've been making the money for so long, and now, now I get to be the one. I think you should do it. Okay, sorry. You should. Look, this is the dream. Okay, nobody deserves this more than you. Are you kidding? You have to do it, okay? I'm here. We can do it all. You should do it. Do it. I get it. Hey, Francis, it's Heather. Okay, so here's the thing, I can't do it. I love them. I love the show, but I just can't get back that fast. Maybe uh, we could say it's a family crisis kind of a thing, but um, here, let me just, let me try to explain. <laughs> Got up here. Iris. She's around. Did she go back inside? I don't think so. There are the clothes, or whatever they are. They're disgusting. What? She's been finding stuff she likes at the antique shop. Come 
Honey, did you just put a pile of sticks in the car? Did you take that bag of clothes out of the trash? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. They are covered in spiders. Yesterday, I told you not to keep the sticks in the house. But you did it anyway. So, I put them outside, and now you hid them in the trunk. That's it. Sticks are gone. I'm sorry. No more. I'm sorry. Iris, come here. Iris. Come here. Listen, your mother is 100% right. Look at me. Easy, 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 easy. Look at me. Don't get upset. Look at me. You're going to figure this out, okay? I put a bag on the other side of the house. You can keep them in the bag, okay? Did she have a set bedtime? Sure. I just feel like maybe there were no rules when I was gone. That's not true. Th then why is she acting like this? I mean, you see it too, right? And, and she goes off by herself completely alone. Look, when I was her age, in the summertime, my mom would give us breakfast, send us off, and we wouldn't see her till dinner. Yeah, well, it was different then. No, I think we think it was different. I mean, we'd ride around. Nobody's watching us. I mean, now you gotta have like a, a phone with a chip to track them like dogs. I mean, thank God she doesn't have a phone. I mean, how can you have any actual freedom with a GPS, right? Oh, hey, Charlie. Afternoon. Charlie, this is my wife, Heather. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. I saw the child out on the road. Got an independent streak. Oh, yeah? Well, where did you see her? Oh, up on the east side. Oh, all right. Huh. Okay, there she is. Uh, Hold on, wait, stop, just, just stop. wait, just wait a minute. Where were you? Where were you? Where'd you go? Honey, where did you go? Not by yourself? That's okay, come on. That's a uh, long walk. Come on, go, go, go. Buckle up. Buckle up. What were you thinking? Are, are you okay? Do, do you know how worried we were? Ow! I'm sorry! Did you just hit your mother? Did you just throw a stick at me? I'm sorry! No! Please, that's my stuff! Dad, go back! I'm not going back. Take it easy. Did you just hit your mother? Dad! Not one more word. Not one more word out of you. We are going home. Did you get you in the eye? Oh. <laughs> yeah, cry! <laughs> cry! <laughs> Is a true apology. Is that all you care about? Is a stick? 
Okay, here's how I think today should go. I think that Iris and I should have a total mommy-daughter day and you should go to town, work, whatever, and just meet us for dinner. Really? I, I just feel so disconnected from her. Hmm. I, that could be kind of great. But could you do me one favor? Yeah. Could you go to the realty place and see if they could switch us to a different house? Well, I don't think there are. The thing closer to town, just... Just see, there's got to be something. Okay. And are they the ones that left us that message? That was so weird. I just feel like this house has a lot of... <sighs> like weird noises, right? I was going to say spiders. And spiders. There's weird noises and spiders. Just see. Town Line Road? It is. All this time, I, I never knew you were connected with the realty place. We're not open today. Well, I just have questions. Do you know, is there availability at any other house up here right now? Nope. I mean, to potentially switch houses, rental houses? Not a good rental property. Okay, I thought maybe there might be another house, um, because I heard that our house might not be ready yet. You should know. You're in it. Do you know if, uh, if that house was owned by a family called Dodge? There used to be a lot of Dodges around here. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it sounded familiar. I, I grew up not far from here. You grew up around here? Yeah, I mean, I live in New York now. You know the story, then. What, the, the ghost story? I didn't know it had to do with that house. No ghost. We had a bunch of houses all along the point. Some of them were awful rich. When I was small, bad stories. The whole family. With the girl in the box? That was the worst of it. Okay, so just so I understand, your name is Dodge, and the house we're staying in is your house? You stay alive long enough, you wind up owning property. So, yes. It's a terrible rental property. You want your money back? There's a policy. Well, yeah, if there's something you're not telling me about the house, then yes, I'll get my money back. Why would I stay, you know? Office opens up tomorrow. Barn's open okay, too. Okay, excuse me, but I would- Good coming by. So, Dad lets you come all this way by yourself? I know my way back. Wow, okay. Oh, hey. Remember this one? Uh, hush, little baby, don't say it. Word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird won't sing, daddy's gonna buy you a diamond ring. <laughs> and if that diamond ring turns brass, <laughs> mama's gonna buy you a looking. Iris. Iris? Don't go back in deep like that. It's, there's ticks and 
poison ivy and... Who were you talking to? I thought I saw you talking to somebody. I was just playing. Are you mad? Are you really mad? I'm just having a nice hike. I'm sorry. What is going on here? It's just a dress. It's not about the dress. It's about you and your dad keeping secrets from me. I just want to wear something nice. What are you like, playing a ghost story game with him? What is going on? You do not have to wear some filthy thing out of a church basement. It looks beautiful on me. Who tells you that? You don't think so? The woman at the antique place. No, the bride. That is just a story. You wouldn't even know, because you weren't here. He got fired. If people say you get mad all the time, you have to make sure people know that you don't. And you weren't even here! Well, really, nobody was here. I hate you. You do not hate me. Please. Heather. Ow! Heather, stop. Okay, Heather, Heather. No, Heather. it all goes. Heather, Heather, it's not. All of it. Heather, it's not, it's not going. It's not going, Heather. Heather, please stop it. No. It's my Iris. Give me those. It's my stuff. Come here. Get in the car. Get in the car! Get in! say you were right I was wrong I bought this nice bottle of Pinot I would like to drink it with you and then figure out a way that we can leave this house as soon as possible all right we can go back to New York early call them you can get that job back is that crazy yes that is crazy that job is gone I turned down that job even though I loved it so that I could stay here in a house we can't afford and eat fucking lobster rolls. So yes, that is crazy. What I want to know is, did you get laid off because they eliminated your job? Or did you have an incident? Ah, uh, okay. You are scary when you get angry. Was it Vanessa? I did nothing wrong. You know her. I can believe that, but you didn't tell me about There's it. There's nothing to tell. Did you hide sticks behind the trunk? No. No? No. Well, listen. Did you duct tape a bag of clothes underneath her bed, on the underside of her bed? That was not her fault. I know. I didn't say that she did it. 
you did it. Those things are really important to her. Yes, but you and I had a discussion and we agreed. I know. And yet, oh, you're man. just going to do your own thing. Wow. Why don't you just raise her by yourself then? I am. I'm doing it. Hey. Hey, hey, for the last month, I've been making the decisions and I've been doing a pretty good job. Okay, she gets up by herself. She gets to bed by herself. She sets a table. You don't even have to ask. She's not so needy. Yeah, that's not parenting. That, that is just leaving her alone. I, I guess it's a style of parenting. Hey, hey, here's what's happening. Okay, you're coming in at the end of our time together and basically you're saying all the fun that we've been having is suddenly not allowed. Okay, if I'm the parent, I'm the parent. Great, have fun. But if you've got everything so well handled up here, then how come I couldn't go do the job I wanted? Oh. You think that job is gonna wait for me? It's not. I turned it down because you can't handle being on vacation at the fucking beach with your own kid. I mean, how helpless are hey, you? Hey, 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 you cannot talk to me like that. Okay, okay, but stay with me. Stay with me because this is what you do all the time. You, you get mad and then you cut people off. Don't cut me off. I am talking about Iris. Look what you're doing to her. What am I doing to her? She wants to marry you. She wants to kill me. She threw a stick in my eye. Not in your eye. In my eye. Look at this. Really? Look, I could go to the doctor. What, from yesterday? This is how she feels about me. Where, over there? Get away. Okay, it's bad. It's, it's bad if she hit you in the eye. You laughing? Eye. No. Are you laughing at me? I didn't see anything in your eye. You are trying to be the fun parent, and suddenly I am outside my family. There will be a time. And look when... how you love okay, it. That's it. That's it. Okay, please, Heather. Where is she? She is inside, playing. I am not invited. I thought I heard her up here. Iris? Honey? Could she have come out here? What was the fight about him? What did she say? I don't know. I can call them. No, I, look, the light is on. Iris! Iris! 
Here she goes. Here she goes. Hi. Hi, have you seen our little girl, our daughter, Iris? Oh, come in. Have you seen her? No. She's you, missing? You know who she is, right? You've given her stuff. Iris! Is she here? Iris! Right now! Earlier. Today? Yeah. When? Hours ago. She was here several hours ago. What was she doing? She was looking at this book. She loved this book. I collect things, and she loved everything I collected, but especially the stuff from Maddie Dodge. So I gave her the shoes, the veil, because with every item that I gave her, the talking in my head got quieter, except the wedding dress. I, I couldn't give her the wedding dress because I never had the wedding dress. I was gonna get some movers, maybe, to help me move that trunk, but you came up too soon. It might have been in that trunk. What? What might have been in there? The wedding dress. And she's such a beautiful girl. It'll fit her soon because it shows her, right? Wait, wait, is this a real place? Do you know where this is? Yeah. This is where Maddie Dodge was going to meet Duncan. You know, I think we can give them this book, right? Because I was just going to put it... Where is this? Where is this? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Maddie? Maddie? Duncan didn't come. Oh, honey. Doesn't it look beautiful on me? It does. It looks beautiful on you. It's time to fly, but he didn't come meet me. He did come, but it was a, it was a long time ago. But we're here for Iris. Okay, now that you're out of the box, you can you can go and find him. Okay, but 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 it won't happen this way. Maddie, Duncan is waiting for you. But you have to let go of Iris first. Let Iris go, and then you can be with him. Maddie. Me and your dad, we. We love each other. We, we love you. I'm so sorry, honey. Sometimes I don't say that, but it's true. Iris. Iris. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, Mom. It's okay.
dreaming of golden hours with you, a paradise spent with our love so true. You are the dearest girl of all, and my heart has heard your call. Floating through life, a love divine, a beautiful angel I call mine, a dream that has come true, my dear, since I met you. Won't you dream of me and think of me and learn to love me too? Won't you watch for me and wait for me and promise you will be true? Won't you take this heart of mine and say, I'll give it back someday, and just your own true girl will be when I'll be loved.